One of the real treats about hosting Farm Connections is the privilege of meeting interesting people. Right now I'd like you to join me for a conversation with someone very special to our ag heritage in Minnesota, the very first Princess K of the Milky Way. Ellie Thatcher now lives in Rochester and has shared with me stories about her inaugural reign as princess back in the 1950s. I was struck by how different things were back then, but also how they've remained the same. Come join me in Rochester. Well, thanks for having us. And, and the reason we're here is to find out more about your reign as Princess K of the Milky Way. And if I understand it right, it started some 57 years ago. That's right. I hate to admit it, but it is 57, actually a little earlier, because um, when the contest first started, I was about 16 or going on 17, close to it. And my 4-H leader said, guess what? I forgot to tell you, I've entered you into the Dairy Princess Contest. So that's the first I even knew about it. And we were at Adams, Minnesota, and 28 girls were pre precipitating. And lo and behold, I came away with the crown. So the next was a regional contest, and that was in, uh, in Rochester. And there mm -hmm. were 10 girls from 10 different areas of dairy farmers. And we had the regional um, judges for just one day. And um, surprise, I was the regional and then heading for the state Dairy Princess Contest. So uh, there were 12 girls from all over the state of Minnesota. And we, uh, we had four days we were judged. We were judged on the, on the radio presentation and um, knowledge of the dairy industry, uh, mm -hmm. um, poison, a lot of the appearances on TV and so on and so forth. The coronation of the Dairy Princess was held in uh, front of the grandstand before hundreds and hundreds of people. And we had naval escorts all dressed in white. They looked very handsome. And we were driven around in a, a convertible and, and then stopped in front of the grandstand. And the ceremony was quite impressive and uh, unbelievable that <clears throat> the crown was placed in my head. So <laughs> we, uh, we had been told that uh, this was not just a ride in the parade kind of a contest as far as what we our responsibilities would be. It was a full working schedule. And uh, we started right away after the, after the coronation. And I was in the dairy building every day talking to Jerry the talking train and he would be flirting with the girls and rolling his eyes and, and he would talk to me and the kids would just squeal with delight and then would go over and have a chance to talk to the dairy princess. So that was for the whole duration and from there it was just a, a whirlwind. When I look th back through the scrapbooks that we have, five or six of them, it started an unbelievable Fairy kind, fairy tale actually kind of experience. So I, uh, they had a convertible with Princess Kay of the Milky Way. I had a chaperone and also a driver. And so we started with the June Dairy Month, uh, all the responsibilities. That was the big month. And so, but before that, they had us booked solid as far as uh, going to other state fairs like North or South Dakota. And then we would go to all the dairy meetings, and uh, we went to Chicago for uh, International Dairy Show. And there, these were all speaking engagements in all the dairy, all the dairy uh, festivals. So it was either talking to all the dairy farmers and, and the girls and, and everything. And then when we went out to the International Dairy Show, there were about 3,000 people, and they had me scheduled for a 20-minute presentation on how we were promoting the dairy industry. And so we know we got a lot of coverage at the state fair to begin with. And uh, then it just kept snowballing. Then the most spectacular thing happened in that I got a call from the main office and said from my chaperone, Eleanor, maybe you better sit down because in two or three days, you're going to be taking off to Paris. I mean, Paris, France. The premier of France had been, has been saying how much he, he in, had milk for every meal and he, he wanted his countrymen, especially the youth, to be drinking more milk. And so this was the perfect opportunity for a good promotion where we could have milk, a quart of milk delivered 
to New York from every state in the U.S. <clears throat> so uh, by the time this all got organized, we, we ended up landing in Paris Christmas or New Year's Eve. And I think maybe the, all the photographers and everything thought it would be a lark to meet a American Dairy Princess. And so uh, there must have been about 75 at the gate wow. waiting for us. So they were bringing a bottle of champagne and they said, well, you bring 48 bottles of wine or milk, you, we'll give you 48 <laughs> bottles of champagne. So we never did make that exchange. but. So they were busy trying to have me hold a bottle of champagne and then they would take that off and I'd have a bottle of milk. So <laughs> I met the premier uh, the next day, made the presentation, and then we had um, a lot of coverage. I mean, I have gotten letters from veterinarian in Holland wanting a job in my house of cow of milk, uh, marriage proposals, uh, another one that uh, he, uh, he wanted to uh, send me um, a, a good supply of fence posts or whatever it was <laughs> if I could be, if he could come and work for me in the dairy industry or in the dairy farm. So it was, it was quite amazing. Uh, they estimated that we probably, with the promotion of milk, we probably generated about a million dollars worth of advertising because we had advertising in all the paper, all the uh, states of Minnesota on west west coast everywhere and then we also had coverage from well all of the european countries so here's this 16 year old girl at the time no now i'm 17. <laughs> okay 17 <laughs> years old this must have been just an eye-opening experience when i went back and looked through some of the some of the um, scrapbooks that i have accumulated and it's truly amazing. I mean, it, it was the experience of a lifetime. Uh, promoting the, your, you know, your favorite food was certainly not difficult. And what the farmers needed at that time was advertising the product. Mm -hmm. They were producing more than they could sell. And so we were bringing in the, the product and telling people how, how it made your teeth more beautiful, your complexion better, and all the health products that you could ever have would not be anything better than milk or any of the dairy products. So, Ellie, it must work because you're still a beautiful ambassador for the dairy industry <laughs> and milk products, very much so. Well, so I you. think that's a good testimony to uh, the good products. But you're 17 years <laughs> of age, you've been to Paris, you've met the premier, and when we went through the scrapbooks, I saw Hubert Humphrey, I saw Pat Nixon, mm -hmm. and now you get marriage proposals from Europe. <laughs> what does Papa say about this? Well, he was he was a, a proud father, but he also kept my feet on the ground. There was no way he was going to let me <laughs> be impressed with myself. So uh, they just were proud parents. So that was wonderful support. And they could celebrate with you. Absolutely. Well, as first Princess K of the Milky Way ever, you were traveling a lot. How did that go with school at Grand Meadow? I was in school maybe two days out of the week. And it was, I had wonderful teachers and administrators that, that um, I did homework on the road. And so I was able to keep my, well, I ended up with sal uh, salutatorium. So I was able to keep up with the homework. And, and so that was, that was very good. As royalty or past royalty, do you still get invited to some of the functions? Well, we do. We get, we get invited to, uh, we're, I ha was crowned county princess in, uh, in Adams. And we get invited back there every, almost every year. They have about 450 dairy farmers that attend that coronation. So uh, they're proud to have their daughters be in the contest and the girls are, are just as competent as can be. Very, very knowledgeable in the dairy industry. Most of them come now from quite large dairies. So they are really up in their knowledge as far as the dairy products. This is, this is fantastic and must have made a really good impression on you and it's probably impacted your life and, and those around you. Well, it, I can't deny that. It was such an unbelievable um, experience that I was very privileged to enjoy. And I think you've inspired many young people around probably all over Minnesota and probably the world to enjoy dairy products and also to aspire to some leadership things 
what is the most memorable thing in that year of reign as Princess Kay of the Milky Way? Seeing and meeting some of the most wonderful people from the dairy farmers to the important politicians and, mm -hmm. and every, it's just such a wide a range of um, experiences that I, I just couldn't, when I went back and reminisce in scrapbooks, it was just like, that was unbelievable. Meeting the farmers, meeting the, the Dairy Princess girls, meeting uh, all the wonderful people that are in that mm -hmm. industry. It was, a, it was just a wonderful experience. A jam-packed year, and you showed me your agenda earlier. I don't think you had time to, uh, to waste. I would have uh, 40 appearances a day, and, and sometimes I, there would be like a breakfast meeting, and then there would be lunch, and then there would be a parade, and then the banquet, and then you'd have to uh, quick get on the road and be prepared to go the next day, the same thing. And sometimes I was a majorette, and sometimes I would have to be in the parade, and then quick jump out, get in my um, majorette uniform, and lead the band. So. That was, that was a little hectic at times. Or we'd have to be in two dairy days in the same day, and so we'd have to, I, with the convertible, have to change in the convertible with the top up, of course, so that we'd get to the next dairy parade or the next banquet. As a young person, did those time management skills and communication pieces and learning experiences help you in later careers or jobs or your business? Yes. I mean, you roll with the punches <laughs> and you you know you kind of take everything in, in a stride and and you learn a little mac, um, you know multitaxing and so it uh, it just you know I've had really two careers the last one being in business my husband and I have a swimming pool business and spas and uh, before that I was an audiologist and uh, so worked with the, again all different kinds of people so I had that experience of meeting and, and I and seen. So it helped in everything that I did from there on. Well, you've been successful, and I think that role as Princess Kate and Milky Way probably played a part oh. all through your career, your children, your family. Definitely. Certainly, congratulations, and thanks so much for sharing your story. It's been a pleasure. Well, thank you so much for coming. It was fun reminiscing. Thank you.